Skin and eye touch up and correction has been primarily done in Photoshop. However, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do basic eye touch up and skin touch up in Lightroom. What's up creative crew, Will Simpson here and welcome to Exploring Photography. First and foremost, I would like to announce that this video, this exact video is being filmed on the new Canon R5. This is my first video that I am filming in one 4K, two on the R5, and three not on my original and old faithful Canon 6D. So this is super exciting. I hope it looks really good. And when I get into editing, I hope it's you know, not too bad. If you're seeing this video, then it probably wasn't too bad. But anyways, let's get into the video. Today, we're gonna talk about a quick and easy way to do basic eye touch up, like brightening the eyes, sharpening the eyes, and doing some quick and easy skin touch up in Lightroom. Again, this is basic stuff. This is not getting super involved with other techniques in Photoshop. So let's dive right into Lightroom and get started. So here's a photo that I did recently. It is a picture of my girlfriend and we were doing some pictures with the sunflowers because we have tons of them on the property and we wanted to do a cool little portrait shoot with sunflowers. I really like this photo and it's a great photo as is, but with a few tweaks, with a little bit of manipulation, it can really make it pop and stand out and become a really amazing portrait shot. First technique we're gonna go over is the eyes. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna come up to the brush tool, which is this top right tool here. We're gonna click on it. The first thing we're gonna do is double click on effect, this right here, and that'll clear any current settings. That way, if there's any hidden settings that we did on a previous edit, it won't carry over so we can start fresh. The next thing, we're gonna up the exposure max. We're gonna up the highlights to 85, something like that. We're gonna up the shadows to maybe 50 or whatever is you think is applicable. Then we're gonna up the, up the clarity to maybe about 15 and we're gonna scroll down to the flow. Now this is where you can adjust the strength of the brush. So we're gonna drop the flow down to about 15 and we're going to zoom in by click, pressing Command or Control and the plus symbol zoom in and then spacebar to move it around. And then we're just gonna simply paint around on her eye, just like this. And that's about all we're gonna do. And that's super easy to brighten the eyes and sharpen them. Now, if you wanna see the before and after, you can press the backslash button. Before, after, before, after. If you wanna see where you put your, your brush adjustment, go ahead and press the O button on your keyboard and it'll highlight green. And you'll notice that it's kind of faded. That's because you're on a low flow. Uh, if you press the option button, you can then create a minus sign, which can allow you to erase some of the mask. You'll notice that while holding the option button, the flow is back to 100 and it set, shows a negative, a minus sign on the brush. If you let go, it'll show a plus sign and the flow will be back to a 15. So press and hold the minus sign, make sure that's at 100, and then you can erase it over her pupil. And then once that's done, press O again to remove the masking color to see where it is. Press the command or control minus sign to zoom out, and there you go. So this is after, before after before now you can see i did a little bit of brightening up of the whole image but if you just focus on the eyes you can really see a difference so before after before after so it really makes a big difference and you can use a higher flow a higher intensity however you want and there you have it that is a quick way to brighten the eyes without using the sharpening tool you can absolutely use the sharpening tool so if you select your eye mask you can go to sharpen and you can raise the sharpening of the eyes but this is a great way to make the eyes really stand out really pop in your images because in portraits when close-up portraits like this the focus always goes to the eye. So if your eye is sharp and clean, it makes the portrait that much better. So that's a really quick way to do this in Lightroom if you don't have Photoshop or something like that. Now, before we go on to the next trick, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. I do videos like this every Monday at 7 p.m. And as of this video, post date of this video, I am at around 800 and I think 80 subscribers and I'm working on getting to a thousand so it'll greatly help me out and I'd love to have you along. But let's get on to the next trick. Next, we're gonna do some skin touch up. Not that she needs any or anything, 
But <laughs> first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the brush. We're gonna press new if it's already selected. We're gonna double click on effects to clear the settings. Then we're going to lower the texture to anywhere between minus 15 and minus 40, totally up to you. Let's do minus 26. And then the clarity, same thing. Minus the clarity down to 20 or minus 40, something like that. Any, you can play around with those settings and figure out which one works perfectly for your portrait. Uh, the next thing, zoom in a little. And the thing to remember, this isn't going to remove blemishes. I'll show you a quick tool after this to remove blemishes, but this is just going to kind of like smooth out the skin. Basically what it's doing is it's blurring it a little to make it look smoother and cleaner. So then we're just gonna take the brush and we're just gonna paint it on the skin. If you wanna see where you're painting, press O on the keyboard. Oh, wait, let's uh, go back. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go down here and remember to set the flow back to 100%. Then go ahead and paint on the, on the skin. Just paint wherever it applies. We're just gonna paint the whole face. And if you wanna see where you're painting, again, press O on your keyboard and it'll highlight it green. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do this. It doesn't have to be super, uh, super perfect. Okay, once we're done, press O on the keyboard again to remove it. And if you scroll down here, you see this little toggle button. This toggles the brushes on and off. So if you click that, it turns them off. And you can see the difference. It's a little bit smoother. But you wanna avoid the eyes and the lips because you wanna keep those sharp. You don't wanna put, you don't wanna reduce clarity on those. So you wanna keep them sharp. So like, I sh like you see on the mask here, let's turn it on. Uh, you can see how I avoided going over the eyes and the lips here and press O to toggle off the mask color. Then you can see the difference. So on, off. It's not much, but it's enough to soften the skin so it looks just a little cleaner. Now, if you wanna to touch up the skin, you can use this spot healing tool right here. Uh, you click this one and then find a blemish or whatnot like this here and just click. And it will take this point and it copies it and puts it here. Then you can move this around depending on if you don't like that spot. So let's just go ahead and do some touch-ups here, 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 uh, here. And, and you could play around with this and do as many as you want just to clean up the skin. Obviously it is faster to do this in Photoshop and it is easier in my opinion. However, if you don't have Photoshop or you're not familiar with it, this is a quick way that you can do this in Lightroom. Plus you can do this in Lightroom Mobile too. That's pretty cool. Lightroom Mobile has these brushes, has these tools. You can absolutely do this in your Lightroom Mobile app. So you could do all of this on your phone, which is crazy. All right, so once we've done that, let's zoom out here, press done. And then so we have the after, before, after, before. Huge difference, it makes a big difference. I mean, I didn't even do that much, but it does make the skin look softer, makes the eyes stronger, and just makes a nicer image altogether. A bonus tip, you can actually slightly change the color of the eyes in Lightroom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the brush tool, we're going to double click effect to clear all the settings. We're gonna make sure that the flow is at 100 again, and we're gonna zoom in to the eyes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint on the eye, press O to make sure that we just get the eye color part. Good, 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 good. And do it here too. And just get around the pupil there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to press the we're gonna make the pupils a little bit more circular, form them there, and then press O to remove the mask color, scroll to the hue area, and then just drag this slider and back and forth, and you notice the color of the eyes change. So let's say we wanted blue eyes. So we find the blue where it looks blue. Uh, we see we have a little blue here, so we're gonna just erase this because we want it to look natural. Then we're gonna kind of paint in here to get the, the brown there because we, again, want it to look natural. And once we have it to where we like, let's erase that, good, that's looking good. We zoom out, look at that. Now she has blue eyes. Now, if you wanna make it more intense or brighter, just adjust the exposure. See, bluer eyes, bright, bright, bright. That looks alien. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dull it because I want it to look natural, but I definitely want you to know that she has blue eyes. So we'll go ahead and raise the exposure a shade and then we're gonna lower the saturation, I believe. I think if we raise it, it doesn't, it does a little bit. So let's uh, let's go ahead and raise it a little. And there we go, blue eyes. Okay, good. We have 
edited her eyes, made them sharper, made them cleaner with the brush tool. We have edited the color of her eyes by using the brush tool and then the hue slider. And then we cleaned up her skin using the brush tool, minus clarity, minus texture, and then just painting it on and then using the spot healing tool, we just cleaned up some of the blemishes. And that's all there is to it. Super quick, super easy. You can do this with all of your portraits. For more awesome tips and tricks, click the link in the description, fill out the form. And if you like the video, give it a like. It really does actually help. And subscribe if you haven't already. I do videos like this every Monday at 7 p.m. And well, I guess I'll see you guys next Monday. Glad to have you guys. It's good to see you.